Hey, what's going on, Archons? Welcome to Key Thoughts, the weekly, although I missed last week's, thoughts on the game of Keyforge by myself, Boulevard Blake, aka Coach. And this week, I'm checking in. We're just checking in this week, seeing how everyone's doing. It is now December. We are fully kicking in to the holiday season. I hope everyone had an outstanding Thanksgiving holiday for those who were partaking in that particular event. And um, let's just kick things off with the card of the week. And this week, the card of the week is... Doo -doo -doo -doo, Humble. For those of you who do not know this card, it is an action card in House Saurian, and it's you get a Pippa Ember for playing this action, and it says exhaust a creature. If you do, move three Ember from that creature to the common supply. Now, obvious ways to use this is you have a non Saurian creature in your um, in your lineup there on the battle line, and uh, you're like, you know what? This has a bunch of Ember. Let's not have a Pinata. Let's get rid of it. Right? That's how you use it. Right? wrong that's not how i like to use it lately i've been using humble as a means of board control on the opposite side so i like to exhaust my opponent's creature sometimes that's a powerful creature that i don't want them to use next turn and uh, that's always a fun way to use it to hinder something that has a great reap effect or something of that nature it could be a threat in some way and you can't take care of it this turn and you need to go through some saurian cards or 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 here is the way in which I was using it to great effect this past week. I was using Humble to actually remove all the Ember off my opponent's creature. Okay, and you're like, why would you do that? Well, guess what? It was a high target creature. I couldn't kill it any other way, taunts, etc. And now what do I do? I play my Axiom of Grisk. It no longer has Ember on it, and now it can be destroyed. Boom. Mic drop. I'm going to walk out of the room. No. But that is a great way in which I use Humble, and therefore uh, I was like, this is awesome. So now it is the card of the week to uh, just celebrate its greatness in doing that in a deck that was not so great. Um, speaking of not so great decks, let's jump into this week's topic, which happens to be, well, talking about playing a not so great deck. Yes, and this is talking about it in the context of Sealed. You open a deck, turns out it's missing a lot of things you need to win. It's also just not great. Like something. So I'll show the example of what I had is I had a mass mutation deck I played in seal this past week. And it happened to only have 14 creatures. And you're like, mass mutation 14 creatures. Wow, you must have a lot of pips. False. It did not have a lot of pips. It had 11 ember. That was it 14 creatures 11 ember. What is going on? That is awful. And the deck just didn't perform, and it was a terrible night of Keyforge for me. And I can't say I've had that that often. But I will give a shout out to my man Tice the Betrayer, Tyson, for uh, having an epic play where he needed one out, reaped with his bot booked in, and top decked the one card, Spoils of Battle, in his deck to take the game. And it was phenomenal to see. You love when RN Jesus shows up that way. So here we are with this week talking about what do you do when you get a bad deck? Well, there's a couple things. One, you be stubborn, figure out that it can win, there is a way, and you haven't figured it out yet. And hopefully you will do so within the matches you have available that evening. Two, and this works particularly when there's an odd number. If there is an even number of players, this could be considered a dick move. You actually drop from the tournament because you don't enjoy your deck, you're not having fun playing Keyforge, and that's fine, but for the greater good. So, for example, there's an odd number. You're actually doing it for the greater good. Now, everyone will always get to play each round. You're not enjoying playing. Why not remove yourself from the situation? Perfect. Other dick move, though, is you go, I'm going to drop, throw somewhat of a tantrum because you just don't want to keep losing. Losing is good for your character, by the way. I hated how I felt doing it, but it was good. I was glad I was losing. Losing was fun. False. It was not fun. But it was a good lesson. But... I would not have dropped if we had an even number, because then I would have made someone else have to wait, and that's almost akin to throwing a tantrum in Keyforge, I feel like. If you have even numbers and you don't have a lot of players out as well, you may want to just stick it out, let it like let it ride, maybe you'll discover something cool, maybe try some janky stuff with your deck, 
try and pull off a cool combo, a personal goal that you can achieve that will make you feel good, even though it doesn't matter within the context of winning. Do things like that. Figure a way to be in control of your own play experience, as Dr. Garfield states, even though that is not within the realm sometimes of possibility. But you still can. Maybe do something fun, like only call one house. I don't know. Just spice it up. Get creative. Um... So that's going to do it for this week's key thoughts, things to do when you're playing a bad deck. Now, on to other things. As the holiday season approaches, I will be having some holiday packages on Keyforge product available very soon. So you're going to hear it here first. It's just being put together. So be sure to know that if you have a loved one who wants Keyforge or you have loved ones who you want to buy you Keyforge and want maybe something that's a little bit of a surprise per se. Uh, I don't know the exact details of what they are going to be, but they're going to be like holiday bundles. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of cool stuff. So uh, stay tuned for that info as it becomes available to me. I will be streaming this Saturday a bunch of decks, including said deck that was absolute hot garbage. Let's see if it fares a little bit better on TCO. And uh, yeah, I will actually probably do a video on this deck tomorrow because I want to look at it uh, on SAS because it on SAS it looked interesting compared to how it actually played. So We'll talk about that uh, tomorrow when I do this video on SAS analyzing the deck from Coach's Collection. Uh, but until then, folks, may your ember never be stolen and your keys forged promptly. Have a good one, folks.